Hello and welcome back to Football Manager 2020 with Africa Sports. It is Champions League quarter-final time. It is another South African team that we are up against, this time Orlando Pirates. A team that we have only played twice previously, about four years ago, and we beat them both times. So, hopefully... This means we should be good enough to go through to the Champions League semi-final for the first time in about three years. Because we've been falling at this hurdle every season for a very long time now. Also, we got knocked out of the National Cup in the semi-final against Army uh, on 3-2 uh, after extra time. They scored in the 94th minute to score their winner. So uh, we're not winning that cup competition. We've got the league already in the bag. We're in the Ivorian Cup final to play against our rivals Asap Mimosas. And the Champions League, I guess, is what we need to go for then. Here we go then, match number one of the episode. Orlando Pirates in South Africa. As I've said before, we have beaten Orlando Pirates in the past. We've played them twice. We've beaten them both times. I think 2-0 and 3-2, I think, were the scores. I'm not sure what was home and what was away. So hopefully we can beat them this time around. They have already played Ivorian opponents this season in ASAP Mimosas, and they beat them both times, I think. So maybe they might be able to also take a little bit of bit of confidence from that. So the starting 11 for the Orlando Pirates game is our best starting 11. And it's kind of our starting 11 that we've been playing for the majority of the season. And we are very top heavy. And I'll, I'll explain in just a minute. So it's Drogba in goal, Numa, Diara Suba, Karuma and Agor, Aka, Zamble and Gaboho in the middle of the pitch with Fred Quay, Michael Ngesson and Asenio Gay as our strikers. And by top heavy, I mean that our defenders aren't very good. Our strikers are great. Our midfield are great. Diara Suba and Karuma, not very good at all. I think Karuma has just picked up his first guinea cap, but if we take a look at him, he's all right. Three-star ability, it's all right. He's not amazing. He does play as a ball-playing defender as well, which he doesn't have the best first touch passing or technique or vision. So he's kind of not ideal for that role. And Diara Suba is probably worse. Two and a half star current ability. If we stick ball playing defender on defend, his first touch, his heading isn't great. He's six foot four with a jumping reach of 16 and his heading is eight. I'd love it if he could actually header a ball. Marking is not ideal. I mean, he's, Diara Suba's just not good, is he? Diara Suba probably shouldn't be our first choice central defender. Maybe we play Traore. Anyway, it's a bit late now to decide who's going to be in our starting 11 once we've already submitted it. So maybe... We need to start playing Traore as the defensive or the central defender alongside Karuma because I think Traore is good. He has scored a hat trick before in the Champions League. We're already 10 minutes into this match. We've got ourselves the first highlight and it looks like it is going Africa Sports' way. Herman Acker steps up, left footed effort, curling effort, hits the outside of the post, goes wide, still nil nil. But we have started well by the looks of it. Jody February's kick upfield. Is going to be headed down by Elvis Zamble. Numa to Diara Suba. Kicks it forward. Tries to find Gray but can't find him. Now Radibi. Orlando Pirates coming forward on the left-hand side. Steal the ball away. Agor doesn't manage to do it. Drogba though easily holds on to the effort. Still nil-nil. Is the highlight carrying on? It is not. Quay with the corner for us. It's a drilled corner. And it was Jan Gaboho getting on the end of it. Hits it just wide of the post. Still nil-nil. Drogba now with the goal kick for us. To the newly minted Guinean international Karuma. Jan Gaboho and Karuma passing. Gaboho gets it once again. Now finds Fred Quay, who has interest by, I think, Nice and Porto. So he might be off in the summer. He's gone for a long range effort. And Jody February makes a wonderful television save to stop that one. Free kick for Orlando Pirates. It's all going on at the moment. Diara Suba gets it clear, but not far enough. Philanda in the penalty area, crosses it in, it's hit the bar, the ball is cleared. I think it hit the bar. Somebody was offside. Manning was offside. That was a little bit hectic. It's still hectic. Everything's just kicked off between 20 minutes and 25 minutes. Chuck Wedia Gore's going to run with the ball. Probably shouldn't run with it too far. Find Zambli back to Diara Suba. Take your time, buddy. You've not the best as we've already spotted. And it wasn't the best pass upfield, was it? Over the top. He was offside. He was offside. He was offside. It's come back to the referee. He was offside. That's good. Did he stray offside? I bet he was about four metres offside, wasn't he? I bet he was bloody miles offside. How far? Okay, he was close. Real, real close. We need to get a goal. 
We need to get a goal in this game. We've got a corner. Aka takes it. It's towards Gray. It's a header clear. Zamblay's going to collect it. Hopefully keeping this alive. On the right, I'm assuming it's going to be a gore. It's actually Jan Gaboho. Gaboho plays it forward. Fred Quay in on goal. And Fred Quay gets his 25th goal of the season. A massive, massive away goal as well. Hopefully that means... Hopefully that is a huge goal. Although, didn't the same thing happen last season? And we scored, we won the first leg and then lost the second leg or something like that. So it's not it's not signed and sealed just yet. We're only 30 minutes into this match as well. Jan Gaboho lumps it upfield. Asenuge is going to try and get there first. It's a mix-up between the defenders. Fred Quay, edge of the area, goes for a long-range effort. And how have we not scored from that? The defender and goalkeeper just tackled themselves. We should have scored. Orlando Pirates coming forward with the ball with a free kick. Philander, lots of space on the edge of the area. Tries to get more space. Drogba makes the save. Masinga is there. And is it another goal being disallowed? Masinga once again was offside. It remains 1-0. How far offside? I mean, miles offside, wasn't he? Everybody was offside in this one. That's good to see. Still 1-0 to Africa Sports. A lot has happened in this first half. A huge amount has happened in this first half. Great ball. Gray in the area. Goes for goal. February makes the save. It's cleared up field. Gray was offside anyway. It's still 1-0. It's going to be 1-0 at half time as well. Yes, it is. Elsewhere then, Al Ali are beating wide at Casablanca. FC Platinum versus ES Satif. FC Platinum versus Zimbabwe inside, I believe. That's pretty impressive, especially 0-0 with ES Satif of Tunisia. Sundowns beating South African team Cape Town City 1-0 as well. No changes at half-time for us, although Michael and Gessen not playing very well at all on a 6.5. We have ourselves a throw with Valentin Numa. It's a Senu Gay back to Numa, crosses it in and Gessen's there and oh, Jody February plucks the ball out of the air and Gessen I think is having some chances. He's just not taking them, is he? I think that is why his rating is dropping low. It's carrying on. This highlight is carrying on. Radibi plays it forward. Chuck Wediego intercepts it. Are we going to counter-attack to their counter-attack? Karuma forward to Herman Acker. Play a long ball, buddy. He does play that long ball. Asenuge flicks the head on straight into Jody February. And the highlight is still carrying on. This What is going on? Everyone's pass accuracy is absolute garbage at the moment. Numa's been tackled by Manning. Manning's now running direct towards goal. Numa's managed to get back, tries to seal it, can't manage it. On the volley is Justin Shonga. It's 1-1. That was the weirdest highlight. Literally, there were three highlights at the start where nothing happened. And then we could have just done with February with the ball in his hands and played it to Manning on the right-hand side. It's 1-1. That's not good. That is not good at all. We're going to do ourselves a change 55 minutes and guess an off for a lozy. A Gore's not having a good game either, but we don't have a right back on the bench. So he's going to carry on. I'm going to give him a shout. I'm going to give him a demand more. Justin Chonga, the guy who scored the goal, has picked up an injury and has gone off. So he came on at half time and then got substituted on the 67th minute. We need to do something unless we're just going to sit back and take the draw, which a draw isn't awful. We've got an away goal. Manning plays it back. Damon's crosses it in. That wasn't a goal, was it? The net, the net, like, moved. The net moved. I thought it was a goal. I don't think it was a goal. We've got a corner for Orlando Pirates towards the middle of the goal. It is over the bar from Masinga. Still 1-0 against... 1-0, uh, 1-1, one, one, sorry. Give him a get creative. This isn't good. This is not good. Orlando Pirates constantly coming forward with the ball. Drogba can't get there, but it goes over the bar anyway. Five minutes left to play. There is another goal I can see happening in this. It is Fred Quay with the ball. Runs along towards the right-hand side. Keeps going. He's going to go back. Nope. Crosses it instead. Zamblay's there. Alozi's there. Effort is blocked. And now a counter-attack is possibly on for Orlando Pirates. We're closing him down, though. Back to... Paran, pa Parasnath, maybe. I don't know. That's not even probably close to what his name is. Gaboho finds the substitution. Alozi in the middle is Gray. He doesn't pass to him. He goes it alone. Jody February can easily save that effort. And the highlight's carrying on. The highlight is carrying on. Why did these... What is going on with these highlights? And especially Jody February's kickouts. Because they've been garbage all game. Fred Quay plays it to nobody. And now... Oh, this is... It's a goal. It's a goal. I can see it happening already. Monyain against Drogba. James Monyain makes it 2-1. And what has happened with these highlights? So many of those highlights, both of their goals involve February kicking out to us to then not do anything with it, to then lose, for them to just lump it back up the other end. It's 2-1.
Highlight straight after the goal, so maybe we can make it 2-2. Two, 2-2 two. Two, two would actually be better than a 1-1 one, one draw, because we have two away goals. I'm, I'm clutching at all the straws here. Chuck Weddy Gore, lots of space on the right, slows the play down though. Herman Acker, left-footed ball, finds Valentin Numa. He's got loads of space as well if he wants to use it and run into the space. Numa kicks it straight into Molloy. And that is, that's the match over, isn't it? That is the match over. We're going to hopefully get there first. Diara Suba does. We've got 25 seconds of normal time plus any injury time. And because we did have a couple of goals and an injury, I'm expecting a bit of injury time. Jan Gabojo's nicked the ball away, finds Alozi. This time Alozi goes for goal and this time Czech Zielozi puts it into the bottom corner. It is 2-2. We have two away goals. We are drawing on the night. Oh my word, this is a mess. This is just an absolute mess. Defensively, we've been just awful. Orlando Pirates have been great going forward. We do end up with the 2-2 draw. It's a Desmond, as uh, Matt Letizia would say on Soccer Saturday. We've got two away goals as well. We've got two away goals. Something to cling on to, I think. Elsewhere, FC Platinum have beaten ES Satif. Now, FC Platinum are a Zimbabwean side. I'm, I'm just impressed because very rarely does anybody outside of basically the, probably the big like four or six nations in Africa, which is your Egypt, Morocco, Tunisia, South Africa. I guess you'd probably say Ivory Coast now because we've kind of dragged them up. That's kind of the usual nations that qualify for the quarterfinals. And then you've got FC Platinum from Zimbabwe. Fair play. Let's jump straight in then to the second match against Orlando Pirates. We've played a league game as well in between uh, the two matches. We won 1-0 against RC Abidjan or somebody. Uh, Czech Zielozi got the goal in that one. So we've just drawn 2-2. If we don't lose, we should go through. That is kind of the plan. That is the hope. That is all we need to do. Right then, for match number two, it is going to be Drogba in goal. Guy Silla will beat our left back today because Valentin Numa hasn't been on particularly good form the last few matches. Literally, his average rating, which isn't actually bad, but compared to the rest of the team, is a 6.88 over the last five games, which is one of the worst in our team. So Silla is going to come in. Diara Suba keeps his place because uh, Emmanuel Traore also isn't very good as a ball-playing defender. So we're keeping Diara Suba. Karuma is also there. Agor is obviously our right back. It's going to be um, uh, Aka, that's his name, Zamble and Gaboho in the middle of the pitch. Fred Quay and Michael Ngessen as the wingers, with Guay as our striker today. He is the guy on loan from Roma. So hopefully he can do a decent job. That was a bad team talk, Pierre. Passionately, I've got faith to go out and make the difference. It saved a few players. Right, let's just not concede. If we don't concede, we go through. Simple. If we concede one and we also score, then we also go through. We, if we score a goal, it suddenly becomes very difficult for Orlando Pirates to get through this match, okay? If we score a goal, it gets very difficult. They need to then score two. If we score two goals, it suddenly becomes very, very difficult. Zamble has the ball for us to... Uh, what are we doing? Masinga in towards goal. Drogba makes the save. It's a corner. Nine minutes on the clock. Nine minutes on the clock. A mistake from Zamble means that possibly Orlando Pirates can get themselves an early goal in this game towards the back post. Big Christian Diara Suba heads the ball clear with his eight heading. It is coming back towards us, though. Towards the back post, Karuma with a big head as well gets it off for a throw. FC Platinum are 3-0 up on aggregate against ES Tunis. That's uh, not Tunis, sorry, Setif. It's 4-0. What is happening? FC Platinum are like the best team in Africa all of a sudden. I love it. It's a free kick for Orlando Pirates. Not a lot's happening in this game, but everything that is happening starts with the team in white and black. They are coming forward once again with a ball. We've nicked it away. Michael and Gesson has stolen this away. The counter-attack is now on. The former ASEC Mimosas man in on goal tries to put it in the opposite corner and misses. The counter-attack was there. Another free kick for Orlando Pirates. They've had one shot, by the way. We've had eight, yet we've literally seen one highlight of ours. It is Michael and Gesson once again with his yellow card. Gets past his man with relative ease. Four in the box. Crosses it in. Gray's there. Back to Chuck Weddy Agor. What a weird bit of football that was. It was on Quay's head. Headed down to Gaboho. Then back to the fullback of all players to decide to have the shot in the end. I would have preferred if Quay had the effort or Gaboho. But nope. It went all the way back to Agor. Zamble to Gaboho over the top. And Gesson once again gets on the end of this one. Michael and Gesson puts that in the back of the net. He, so far this match, seems to be on fire. Everything we have done 
has involved Michael and Jengessen. It is 1-0 on the night, 3-2 on aggregate. We are looking good so far. We are actually dominating them. I want to get two or three goals in this game. And then it should be semi-final time. And Gessen has the ball once again. He's running towards the centre circle. Keeps going, does the young Ivorian. Keeps going. He's been tackled. Zamble steals it though. And Gessen once again in the middle of the pitch, out of position. Gaboho to Aka. Dinks it over and Gessen's not going to get there. Guy Silla now has the chance to possibly keep this alive. Silla, who's probably our worst player on the pitch, but we don't really have much choice if Numa is just awful at football at the moment. And Gessen, back to Guy Silla. Loads and loads of space for number three. Aka and Gessen. Just cross it in, buddy. Do something. Silla just does not want the ball, does he? Aka crosses it in. Gaboho's there. And Jan Gaboho's headed effort goes wide. Silla had about 17 chances to try and cross that in and just did not want to do it. Half time, we are 1 0 up against Orlando Pirates. It is one way traffic, but it's only 1 0. FC Platinum, 4 0 on aggregate against ES Setif. I'd love to play them in the semis. No changes at half time, and I've just realised I've said that I'd love to play FC Platinum in the semi finals, despite the fact we still have to beat Orlando Pirates. We're not through. We are winning at the moment. We are certainly not through in this match. Fred Quay collects it. He's going to run. Plays it to Gaboho very early on in the second half. Quay collects it once again. Three in the middle. Quay's there. Quay's headed effort hits the underside of the bar and the ball is cleared. Still 1-0 to Africa Sports. Diara Suba with a free kick. Little dink free kick. I like that. Straight to Ngessen. Three in the box. Four maybe now. Gaboho's there. Zamble's going to collect the headed clearance. Now Herman Acker needs a runner. Agor is doing a good run if Karuma can find him. Tries to find the Burkane. Not Burkane. Nigerian right back, isn't he? Karuma. Not Karuma. I'm not really sure what's happening. We've hit the bar. It's gone over. It's still 1-0. We should have scored about four or five in this game. We should have scored about four or five at this point. Aka with the corner. Is this number two? It's towards Karuma at the back and once again over the bar. We had 20 shots. 20 shots. Nine of them on target. One goal. Guy Silla's free kick to Herman Aka. Just about on the hour mark. Silla to Aka once again. Plays it towards Fred Quay. Lovely bit of control from the Garnet and he's gone for a long range effort. Jody February makes a very simple save. From Fred Quay. I'm not sure what happened there. We just saw two very quick highlights. And Gessen with the ball edge of the penalty area. He's gone for goal himself. February once again makes the save. Jody February is keeping Orlando Pirates in this tie. We have ourselves a corner. Fred Quay with the corner. Left footed towards the back post. Diara Suba's there. Goes over the bar. I was just about to do another sub. And we've just got ourselves another corner. So we're going to watch the corner instead. Quay steps up. Back post is Diara Suba again. Herman Acker keeps the play alive. Crosses it in. Doesn't find a green and red shirt. Now a goal with some space. Is he going to try and run and then cross? Plays it back. He very rarely crosses I find. Acker. Oh no, 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 no. This is not what we wanted. This is... Once again, just run past all of our defenders. No one decides to close them down. We just ran straight past absolutely everybody. Drogba keeps us in the game, conceding a corner. So this highlight is gone from one corner to us to a corner to Orlando Pirates. Back post, Diara Suba puts enough of a nuisance in the way. Means the headed effort goes over the bar. And now we can do our subs. We're going to do Gui for Gui. Um, I'm, I'm not sure if that's... Is that Gui or Gay? And that's Gui. I'm... I pronounce them how I want to pronounce them, okay? What else? I mean, we're not playing badly. Agor's not having a good game, but this is this is what I mean by we are top heavy. Look at these ratings. Four, five, four and a half, five star sort of decent players. And then our best centre back is two and a half. We are we're not good 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 defensively at all. We're gonna do Fred Quay off for Alozi. I know Quay is one of our best players, but he's he's not playing well. He's picked up a yellow card. So stick a Lozy on the right hand side. We've got 20 minutes and a throw in a very questionable place. Silla is going to run with the ball. Plays it all the way back to Christian Drogba. So what is what is this highlight? I'm worried. I'm worried about this highlight. Drogba's going to kick that straight to somebody wearing a white shirt. I can see it happening. Diara Suba lumps it upfield. It's, it's to a player in a white shirt and it's going to come back towards us then. Orlando Pirates with the ball on the left hand side. Philander. He's got Alozi for company. Alozi's putting himself in the way. Philander keeps hold of the ball. Alozi this time gets the ball again, but can't keep hold of it. And now Orlando Pirates trying to come forward. Oh my word. Oh my. What was that, Karuma? What was that? There's still 15 or 20 minutes to play, and we've literally just gifted them a goal. 
They've had four shots all game, and we've just gifted them a goal. If they score again, they've nullified our away goals. Silla with the ball to Diara Suba. We need to probably just think about shutting up shop at some point. Gray's not going to get there. And once again, Orlando Pirates can possibly come forward with the ball. If we go out at the quarterfinals again, I, I don't want to be in the Champions League next season. I want to lose intentionally so we go into the Confederations Cup. I think that's that's the only way we're going to win any continental competition. Agor lumps it upfield, finds, uh, what's his name, Asenio Gay. That's his name, and he said Valentin Gay. Alozi crosses it in, and Gessen's there, doesn't get it. Guy Silla now has the ball, refuses to cross. There's something just inside him, he doesn't want to do it, and Gessen is there. And Michael and Gessen has put us back in front on the night. It is 4-3. There is still 15 minutes to play. How are we doing? Not badly. We're not doing badly at all. We're just not taking any of the chances that are coming our way. 12 shots we've had on target. We scored twice. It's a corner. 10 minutes. Orlando Pirates whips the ball in. Drogba's... What's happened here? It's a goal kick. What was going on there? Still possibly a chance for Orlando Pirates. Drogba with a wonderful dive and save to prevent Masinga from scoring the goal. We, I mean, I think we're going to have to shut up shop, you know, because if they score, it's going extra time. Actually, it goes straight to penalties, doesn't it? If they score, it goes straight to penalties. Zamble has it to Alozi. If we get a goal now, it's game over. If we score now, it is game over. Alozi with a little pass to Chukwede Agor into Gaboho. Edge of the area, takes a few touches. It's Asenu Gay, and Asenu Gay, the substitute, makes it 3 1 5 3 on aggregate. We might have actually made it through to the semi final for the first time in God knows how long. Oh, we're still not done. We are still not done. Five minutes left. Make it four. Make it four on the night, six through on aggregate. Because you, you put me through so much stress in this match, team. So much stress. If we just come out of this looking like we've dominated them, I'm not going to be happy. Africa Sports losing the ball then. Orlando Pirates can just smash it upfield. Agor controls. Centre circle ball to Herman Acker. Right hand side is Elozi. He's never going to win a header ever, even though he scored a couple in his life. It's down that left hand side. Agor's going to collect it. It's not. It's Karuma. Karuma forward to Jan Gaboho. He's got two players in front. Agora is far too far forward. I don't like that. Alozi in the penalty area. Two at the back. And Gessen's one of them. February dinks it over. And Gessen does keep the ball alive. Crosses in. And Asenu Gay. Asenu Gay, the hero. His eighth goal of the season. His second on the night. He scored two in very, very quick succession. It's 4-1 on the night. 6-3 on aggregates. We are going through to the semi-final. Finally... I can calm down now. I can calm down. We're going through to the semi-final. And Gessen and Gay with the performances of the night. Gay was on the pitch for what? 20 minutes? 20 minutes he was on the pitch. And gets an 8.5. I should have started him. It's 4-1. We go through. Let's play Platinum Stars. It's not even Platinum Stars. It's just FC Platinum. So I keep forgetting that we can see who we're likely to play. We can actually plan out our route to the final. Although it doesn't matter because our route to the final is whoever we beat in the semi-final versus whoever else is in the semi-final. So Cape Town, FC Platinum and Al Ali are through. We can win this. We can win this year. We can win this. I've, I'm sure of it. We have FC Platinum. We have FC Platinum in the semi-finals. Oh my word. Oh, the, right. They're, this is how I judge how good the team is. Their best player is worth £6,250. And he's rubbish. I mean, he's not awful, is he? He's got, technically, he's actually got the numbers in the right places, but that's kind of about it. Their top goal scorer is, I mean, they've only, they only play Champions League games. He's not awful, is he? He's got one cap for Zimbabwe, eight finishing. He's their top goal scorer. Oh my, I'm excited. I'm ex we could be going to another Champions League final. Next episode then, FC Platinum will be our opponents from Zimbabwe. I'm looking forward to this. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Football Manager 2020 with Africa Sports. We are on our way to possibly a Champions League final. Next episode then, FC Platinum of Zimbabwe. If you did enjoy this one, do please remember to leave a like. If you are new here and you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. I will remind you now, tomorrow is the final episode of the Southport Save. It is a FA Cup final, I believe. FA Cup final and a Champions League final. So please do remember to watch that. If you haven't seen any of the previous stuff, that's a bit of a spoiler, but please do watch that episode because I'm not going to lie, it is great. It is a brilliant episode. I'm really happy with it. 
Thank you very much for watching this one. I'll see you in the next episode against FC Platinum. Champions League final time. Champions League final. We're going to hopefully get there. <laughs>